that's going to help it out a little bit. Then I can remove a lot of the stuff that I might not need. The transaction type looks like it's a very long uh, ID. I might not need that cell at all. At, at all, but I'll just minimize it here to make it smaller. You've got the date that's going to be necessary. All the journal entries. Let's see if I can minimize that a bit and maybe wrap the headers. So I'll take these headers and maybe go to the home tab and wrap them. And so this transaction ID, maybe I just call it ID. So it's not so long. And then we could we could say, okay, the account number, uh, this one doesn't have anything in it. So I'll remove that. Now to remove something, I'm going to see how this cell up top is has a merged, I'm going to unmerge it and unmerge this one. That's in the home tab alignment and unmerge. So I so now I can delete stuff more easily. There's no names in any of these. So I'm just going to say, all right, let's take that whole field and delete it. Account, I don't need anything in there. Let's take that whole field, delete it. And then this, this one, let's delete this bit down below. I don't need that. Delete that. And then, then this one, I can make a lot smaller by wrapping the text. So maybe I select the whole thing home tab, uh, alignment, wrap the text. So it's wrapped. And then I can make this a lot smaller and just make sure that the text is, I could double, I can select this whole thing and then double click on it and it'll double click on anything inside. I know I'm doing this fast, but this is more Excel than anything else. And then I'm going to take these two. And if I make these a little bit smaller, it should be enough, right? Boom. Boom, almost there. Come on, come on. Oh, there it is. So now we're in the line. We're inside the line. All right, so let's go ahead and we could make borders around. Oh, now I made it too small. See, now I did it too small. But let's go to the home tab font group and make some borders around it. I'll make these two a little bit larger and a little bit larger. Okay, now it's too long. So I'll make this one a little smaller. And so now it fits on one page. All right, so let's just recap uh, some of these. So if, if, we, if we look through it, we have the journal entry to adjust uh, tax adjustment payroll liability. So this I'm going to delete. I don't need this one all together. So I'm going to remove that one. Boom, boom, boom. And just right click and delete it. So these are our adjusting entries. So we have the interest uh, payable and the interest expense. This was an adjusting entry to account for that 15 days of interest, which is going to be paid in March, but which had been accrued in uh, before the cutoff date in February. Uh, this one just we'll just recap them quickly. This one was the accounts receivable. This was for an invoice that was entered in March, but for which the work was done in February. Therefore, the revenue should have been pulled back to February. So we increased the revenue with a credit accounts receivable went up. We also recorded the sales tax, the cost of goods sold and the inventory. And then we had the insurance. So the insurance was an adjusting entry to represent the portion of the insurance that had been consumed in the current month and the portion that is going to be for for that was prepaid because we paid for a year's worth of insurance and we expense it as time passes. And then we've got the depreciation adjusting entries representing the expensing of the cost of the large pieces of equipment that we purchased over time in accordance with some depreciation method, such as straight line or double declining balance. And we did that according to our subsidiary ledgers, which are actually came from the tax return. This is the same thing for depreciation for another type of fixed asset. And then we had the accounts receivable and unearned revenue, unearned revenue uh, being for uh, revenue that we that we or money that we got from customers in advance of doing the work. And then we had to record this negative receivable because that's the easiest thing to do on the bookkeeping side. This one being the journal entry that's a little bit different than the book problem for unearned revenue because we have a little bit different of a situation or issue with software oftentimes given the fact that we need to track not only the journal entries but the sub ledger accounts and the the internal information for the customer center 
And then we had the adjusting entry for the loan payable breaking out the short term and long term portion. Now we've reversed some of these. So let's go ahead and do the same thing, but up, up the day to one three, right? So now we're on one three. And so these are all the reversing entries. So let's go ahead and export these. And these are just the ones that we had to reverse and see which ones we did reverse and recap which ones we did not reverse, right? So I'm gonna go in and say, let's say uh, export this one to Excel as well. I'm gonna open it up, but then I'm gonna, gonna take, take it and put it into the other worksheet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, I'm gonna right click on this tab below, move or copy. And then you can see in this dropdown, it, we have the other one open. So I'm gonna open the other one and then move this sheet to it. So we'll move it. I'll pull it to the right. We can name these. So this was the adjusting entry, ADJ, and this is reversing entry. I'll just put a REV. And then I can format the, this in a similar fashion. So I'll go to the tab to the right, tab to the left. And I'm going to say, I just call this the ID. I don't even think I really need the ID. We don't need no stinking ID. ID. ID, we don't need, okay, I don't know. This is gonna be, oh, let's unwrap this. Let's unwrap, oh wait, let's wrap, let's unmerge. And then unmerge, okay. And then we're gonna say transaction type. I can make this a little smaller. And these I want to wrap. So wrap, I'm wrapping, we're gonna wrap it dog we're wrapping homie i don't know okay sorry about that <laughs> okay let's keep on going uh we're gonna say oh hold on i hit my i hit my soundboard that was the wrong sound i didn't mean to do that that's going to be the the evil tax the government stealing our money that's good. but anyway i'll delete this and then the reversing entry so they're all reversing entries we don't need the account. So we're gonna take that and right click and delete that. And then I'm gonna take this whole column and wrap it, home tab, font group, and wrap the text. And then we'll pull it in to something maybe around there. And then I'll take this whole thing and expand it by double clicking in between the cells to make it long enough for the descriptions. And then everything looks like it's working well. Okay. So let's review these again for the, well, let me put some borders around it too. That's uh, we'll put some borders around it. Cause that's what we did last time. And then this bottom bit, I don't need that. Get this out of here. 